During our study of flight, we will be looking at the parts of an airplane. Here is a simple diagram of an airplane. Let me go over a few of the parts and their functions. The first one, the aileron, or ailerons, which are located on both sides of the wings, or the outer side of both sides of the wings. These are small surfaces, surfaces um, that are just directly on the wings. If they are angled in opposite directions to each other, the plane will roll in the direction of the raised aileron. The next part I want to look at is called the elevator. The elevator can be controlled in an up and down motion. When angled up, the nose of the plane rises, and when the elevator is lowered, the nose drops. Next we'll look at the flaps. The flaps are surfaces on the wings which can be raised or lowered to create additional lift or drag. They are mainly used during landing and takeoff. The fuselage is the main body of the airplane. It can be used to carry cargo or passengers. The propeller creates the forward thrust to increase lift. The rudder is a flap which can be moved right or left. The nose of the plane will move in the direction of the turned udder, rudder. <laughs> Excuse me. The wing permits lift to occur. This allows the plane to fly. And finally, um, the few things that I haven't discussed um, the tail of the plane, um, where the uh, elevator and rudder are located. Um, there's also the cockpit, which is where the pilot uh, would be, or pilots. The engine provides um, the power needed to create thrust to um, get the plane airborne. And finally, the spinner um, helps spin um, the front of the propeller, creating uh, a thrust as well as the engine. Okay, so those are all of the main parts of the airplane and, um, and their functions.